Okay, gents, you understand the rules you fight under. You listen to me all times, you keep yourself protected. When I say stop, you stop. If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Let's do it. My name is Mark Goddard, and I have been an MMA referee since 2004. When you're in iconic arenas around the world, you know, when you're in uh, Rio, when you're in Japan, when you're in Las Vegas, 60,000 people in a stadium, the fever pitch and like the, the adrenaline and the energy and the noise of that crowd, it is probably like no other place on earth. Before I go into the to the big fights, maybe two minutes before, three minutes before, I don't want to talk to anyone. I'll just take myself away and I just I'll go through that emptying process of in your mind, because every fight is a blank canvas. It's it's a painting, and you watch it or a film or a movie, and it's being directed right in front of you. People say it's the best seat in the house. How can you not be fortunate to be standing? four or five feet away from the greatest fighters on earth you know and, and watching the magic unfold but being up close and so personal i'm jumping out the plane with the fighters when the fight begins boom, the tunnel vision kicks in the peripheral switched off and and you're in the moment i don't care what's going on on the outside i don't care what i hear from the outside my job is to remain focused and when i say focused i'm in another dimension so at that point, then, you can hear literally everything. You can hear the fighters breathing. As a referee, your game face is on. Whenever I act or elect to step in to stop a fight, you best believe I'm doing it on, on the best of intentions. I don't want a fighter to be unnecessarily hurt. You're walking that fine line, you know, that tightrope. A fighter could get concussively dropped, and I have... 10 feet to cover in less than a second. As I'm covering that distance, everything's whirling round in my mind and you've got to make that call. Is when I decide to move in and stop that fight, that is it. Every other single person on this planet and their opinion on what you've done opens up in the three or four or five seconds after that stoppage is made. I could stop a meteorite hitting the planet and someone would still complain. But, you know, they say a picture paints a thousand words, none more so than that split second when you, a fighter looks me in the eye and the fight's over. And when they walk out of that cage, a bit of them is staying in there. A little bit of them is fucking smack bang ingrained on that canvas. The sport of MMA has given me treasures, memories that had I not gone down the path of MMA, my life would have taken a completely different trajectory. I want to leave a legacy and I want to leave a meaning in this sport so that people know when I'm pushing up the daisies <laughs> and I'm no longer here, if people can look back and say, Mark played a significant part in helping this sport get better or he played a significant part in helping this sport get safer. If I'm on that mantle, I'll, I'm going to be happy.